Hey guys, welcome to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be doing something different, kind of the same. Today we're going to be doing a live gameplay commentary. And I'm sorry for the bad um, gameplay in the background. I just wanted to, uh, to do a video on what I'm about to do and I didn't have any gameplay or anything to go along. But I had Call of Duty which is the closest thing. So, on with the video. So, this is all my opinion and here's a good big trigger warning. As Modern Warfare came out about, I don't know, what, how long ago was it? Six months? We had everyone get all excited because we thought we were, and arguably, got a good return to Golden Age Cards. Now, why are the Golden Age Cards so loved? Why are they so remembered? Let me tell y'all. Oh yes, I'm not going to tell you if they're good or bad, and I ain't hating on them at all. I, what I have played, is very good. But everyone acts like they're just they're the golden child, or I guess they kind of are of Call of Duty because no game is perfect. But everyone acts like they're the golden child of any game. That there's nothing wrong. Well, in fact, there were. And yes, you do have nostalgia to play a big thing. But it's really weird when you have people who never even played the game, never even touched it, or never understood it, to have nostalgia. And see, I'm 15 years old. I was born in 2004. So think about it. When the last Golden Age card came out, um, Black Ops 2, I was 7. Like, how many 7 year olds have that good memory and know how to play games <laughs> that well? Because people out here, they'll always be, I'll be talking to my friends or just people at school about different Call of Duties and they'll be like, Yeah man, I was dropping like AC 130s and nukes and Modern Warfare 2. Boy, you was like, 5? I don't know, I don't, I don't do math. Either way, my point is, most of this love that these games are getting probably isn't even real love and nostalgia from all these fans. A lot of them are people that probably never played it, or never understood, or never rem actually remembered. Because when I was seven, I could barely get past the first or second level of LEGO Star Wars. I was, I was stupid, and I doubt, I doubt anyone else was that much different. Like, Basically, I keep drifting from the point and giving examples. Like I say, all this love and stuff, most of it is probably fake. Or not fake, but like, it's probably not as legitimate because a lot of these guys never really played the game. So, of course, it's just an accepted thing these days that those old Call of Duties and just old games in general have all this love because over time, people, ha people who had played were wearing their nostalgia goggles and loving on the game. Yes, rightfully so. They look pretty good, but I'm not gonna um, say anything about it because that would be hypocritical, whatever the word is. Y'all can probably understand my point. So, as you see, you'll have content creators and just other people telling and showing how good these games were. And slowly, to go and blend in, all the younger people who never played or even just weren't very good or just barely played, they'll go along and next thing you know you have like a giant fan base of these games. Well I don't know, a third never even played it. It just it always seems strange to me. And it always seems kinda ironic. I don't know if this is irony or not, but just the fact that these games are so popular and most of the players never touched them. Or maybe they only played them afterward after they said they were. It's just, it's pretty funny. And y'all might say I'm wrong, say I'm right. I don't really care. I'm just putting out what I thought. And I haven't seen anyone else showing this stuff. So I thought, you know what? I, I should let y'all people know, or at least my um, few subs. But I hope y'all like this video and understand what I'm saying. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I hope y'all see my point.
Optimum. 